Now, I'm sure that most of you have used a dial telephone before. But perhaps you'd like to know why it works the way it does. We'll use this equipment over here to demonstrate. As you can see, this big dial looks like the one you have on your new telephone. But suppose you've got a number you want to call. What's the first thing you do? Take up your receiver and listen for the dial tone. Here's how it sounds. The dial tone is the equipment's way of telling you that it's ready to put through your call. As Mr. Johnson pointed out, it's the same as an operator saying, number please. If you don't hear the dial tone within a reasonable time, hang up. Wait a few seconds and then try again. As soon as you hear the dial tone, you're ready to dial the number you want. But before we do that, let's examine the dial itself for a moment. When you operate the dial, bringing it around to the finger stop and then release it, an electrical code message is sent to the automatic equipment in the central office. You'll get some idea of what happens over at the central office if you'll think of these columns of lights as representing the central office dial equipment. For example, if the first number you dial is five, a five signal is received at the central office. Here, the signal appears in the first column of lights as five. Say the next number you dial is six. The signal appears in the next column of lights as six. Suppose we say the third number dialed is also a six. It will appear in the third column of lights, and so on. Of course, the dial equipment receiving these signals in the central office is quite different from anything we have here on the platform. But in any sequence of numbers, the number you dial will cause a particular signal to be sent to the dial equipment in the central office. Now, let's start at the very beginning and see what you do when you want to call someone. First, you get the number from your new directory. Let's say the number is four, five, six, seven. Then, pick up your telephone and listen for the dial tone. As soon as you hear the dial tone, you can start to dial the number. Here's the dial tone. Four. Notice the first column has received the signal four. And so on with five. Six. And seven. Always pull the dial all the way around to the finger stop and lift your finger after each number so that the dial swings back of its own accord. This is important because the electrical signals are sent to the dial equipment only as the dial swings back. Any interference with the return of the dial may result in you getting a wrong number. Soon after the last number is dialed, you will usually hear this tone. That's 
that's the ringing signal. It tells you that the telephone at the number you called is ringing. The party at this number will hear a clear, evenly spaced ring that sounds like this. The ring will continue until the telephone is answered, or if no one answers, until you hang up. When you've dialed a number and that line is busy, you'll hear a signal like this. If you hear the busy signal, Simply hang up and wait a few minutes for the people who are talking on the line to finish and try again. When you raise your telephone and listen for the dial tone but discover someone else talking on the line, hang up and try again after you've waited a reasonable time. Also, if you lift your receiver and hear the clicks that indicate someone else on the line is dialing, hang up as carefully as possible. But no matter how often or when you call, always be sure to listen for the dial tone before you start to dial. For instance, if you should dial eight, before hearing the dial tone, the equipment may register only, well, some other number. Five. The reason is really very simple. You started to dial before the equipment was ready, and so it didn't receive all the electrical signals you tried to send it. The main things to remember are, first, look up the number in your new directory. Second, raise your telephone and listen for the dial tone. Third, dial each number carefully, making sure you bring the dial all the way around to the finger stop each time. Then let go. Don't try to hurry it back. I'm sure if you follow these simple rules, you'll find your new dial telephones easy to operate, convenient to use, and quick in service. Thank you. noise. Now, let me see. Four, one, nine, two. Hello. This Ed Hochstetter? <laughs> Hi, Granny Ed. This thing isn't hard to work. No, sir. Got the call through first time I tried. Real nice and clear, too, isn't it? 
Gold, blame if I don't think this darn thing is going to work out pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>